Hello YouTube, Ron here and in this video I will show you how to fix the blank screen during call on Android Nougat. If you have Android version other than Android Nougat, check the description of this video. I have made a separate video to fix the problem on all other Android versions. Here you can see that I am on Android Nougat 7.1.1. So the problem here is that the proximity sensor is probably dead or malfunctioning. So if you call or get a call, the screen goes to sleep as the proximity sensor is not functioning. Even pressing the power button doesn't turn on the phone. Now to fix this problem, all you have to do is visit the link in the description of this video and download the dialer app. The dialer app is recompiled in such a way that it ignores the proximity sensor status. Now for the next step, I will suggest you to use ES File Explorer. It is one of the best file explorer for Android. Now go to your download folder and copy dialer.apk that you have just downloaded from the provided link. Now swipe from the left edge to access the additional settings and check root explorer. You need to give ES File Explorer root permissions. Now go to the home screen of the ES File Explorer and select internal storage. Now on the top you will see a directory structure. Just go to the root directory by clicking on the forward slash. Now go to the system folder and then go to prep apps folder. In that you will find a folder named dialer. Just open the folder. You can see there is a dialer.apk in this folder. This is a default dialer. Now to disable it you need to change the extension. In my case I have renamed it to dialer.apk.backup. This is a safety measure in case if the patched dialer.apk did not work. Now paste the downloaded dialer.apk in this folder. Now to make all these things work, you need to reboot your phone. This method should work with all Cyanogen mod or Lineage OS ROMs. I have not tested it on AOSP based ROMs. If in case this doesn't work, just delete the new dialer.apk and rename the dialer.apk.backup to dialer.apk. Now the next thing you need to do is to grant permission to dialer.apk. For that we need to go to settings and then select apps and then find the app name phone. Now select permissions and allow all the permission that you see on the screen. And there you go guys everything should work fine now. Thanks for watching this video, hit like if you liked it, comment your queries, share this with someone who is facing the same problem and for more stuff like this subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching again and see you in the next one.